In addition to being a floating island in the middle of the Crossmoss, Incarnum is interestingly located on the back of a sleeping giant stone dragon. Hints can be found that the dragon may in fact be alive and slumbering. There's a tale of a distant time when the island was subjected to a constant rumble, like a continuous earthquake. A mysterious lady came to the island, went into the forest, laid down and whispered something to the ground. Almost immediately, the rumbling stopped as if the dragon had gone back to sleep and the woman was never seen again. According to the story, no one could remember what she looked like or if she was even human, but she was surrounded by the light of several doofus. If you are interested in knowing more about the Cosmos or the Doofus and Wakfu universes, go check out the video's description down below. Heyo! Mochi Kumizuame here, and today I would like to introduce Doofus to you guys, even though some of you may already know the game, so to those that do, bear with me, and also thank you for watching this video. And to those who don't, I hope you find this tutorial and any future content in this series helpful, or at the very least entertaining. I'd really like to show you what this game is all about, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Welcome, young soul. Welcome to the world of Twelve. A peaceful world under the protection of the Twelve Gods. A land of legend ruled by the power of the Dofus. Six dragon eggs, symbols of power and givers of hope. Until one terrible day when they were stolen. Now the harmony is broken. The elements and monsters have been unleashed. The time has come. Your destiny has brought you to Incarnam. Discover the world. Find precious allies. Find the Dofus. Become a hero and become a part of the legend. So, we are in the character creation screen right now, and I will be creating the character that I will be playing, which is Any Ripsa. Hey guys, so just a quick disclaimer there will be words or terms that I say differently, and although I apologize for the fact, it's also just how I learned to pronounce things by myself years ago when I first started playing Doofus. Um, back then, there weren't that many examples of how things should be pronounced, if at all. So yeah, thank you so much for understanding. Of course, I'll do my best to try and pronounce things the correct way, but there are just a couple of things that I do pronounce in my own way, plus the disclaimer, and I just want to make it clear to you guys why and stuff like that. So, as I said, thank you so much for understanding, and yeah, let's just get on with the video. Doofus and Walk for MMORPGs by the French company Ankama Studios. So what's the difference between Doofus and Walkfu's gameplay? Doofus is pay to play and plays out in the year minus 211 to 789. The story's main focus is based on the collection of all the Doofus. The game has more quests, focuses on professions and crafting a lot, and has an economy. Wakfu is free to play and plays out in the year 789 to present time. The story focuses on the inevitable battle each adventurer will have with Ogres in their attempt to defeat him. The game is more focused on farming and dropping items, has politics and haven worlds, which sadly is severely broken at this point. Fairly broken economy an environment and ecosystem which, in my opinion, is one of the most unique and enjoyable features of the game. Both games require a lot of strategy, management, and patience. These first few videos will focus on the Doofus game and era, but due to being paid to play, I won't be continuing the series beyond its tutorial for the time being which includes Incarnum quests and maybe a couple of Asterborns depending on how things go. I hope to one day be able to sort out the pay to play so we can indeed continue the series. But until then, thank you so much for understanding and I hope that you enjoy the tutorial though. The videos that follow will focus on the Wakfu game and era. Since Wakfu is free to play, I will continue the series. But the series will be released slowly and sporadically since I'll be working on other content as well.
To move, simply click where you'd like to go on the screen. Left click to speak to an NPC, like Ganymede here for example. Welcome to Incarnum. How would you like to take a very short class to teach you the basics of life as an adventurer? Sure, I'd love that. To equip the ring you were just given, you have to open up your inventory. To do so, you can press I as the default shortcut on your keyboard or simply click on the little bag icon as indicated. Once in your inventory, simply double click the ring or drag and drop the ring on the correct slot. In Dofus, to change maps, you'll need to move your cursor to the edge of the map and follow the arrows by clicking on them. This will seem complicated later as more corners become available. Just remember, when navigating, your map is your friend. You can access your map by pressing M as the default map shortcut, or you can click on the map icon in your bar. The map works in a storyboard form. The corners you are available to access will highlight, which is nice. It didn't used to work this way back in the day. Also, there's an extra feature to make map navigation and PVM easier especially later on in the game, where some monsters in certain areas aggro players. To access this feature, open your settings screen by clicking on the cog icon in the top right of the screen. Select Features and the first section called Map is where you can activate the grid option. I really love this feature and it definitely comes in quite handy. Doofus has a lot of options that you should definitely play around with to see which of them fits your playstyle. Anyway, let's continue. Well, we already leveled up. That's awesome. Doofus has turn-based combat and your base AP starts at 6. Your base MP starts at 3. AP is action points, the points used to cast spells with, and MP is movement points, which you use to move around. You can also click the heart to change how your HP is displayed, your health points. Okay, now we need to choose our standing position, which is pretty self-explanatory. One of these red squares, so I'm just going to move way to the back over here since I am a healer. The little area that pops up around your character indicates how and where you can possibly move. If you use only one MP, movement point, you can see that that area shrinks. A similar thing happens for spellcasting. The area you are able to reach is highlighted. If you increase your character's range, their reach will change. After a while, knowing the spell ranges will become second nature, and even if it doesn't, the highlighted area really helps in regards to planning ahead. The fight tutorial pop-ups are great, <laughs> no need to explain, so I'll just read it to you guys and you can follow along. Okay, use a spell. Select the spell and click on the target. So this is the target, and these are our spells. Right now we have Wounding Word, and we have Alternative Word. And then we also have our Friendship Word, which is our Coney, but I'm not going to explain more about the Coney right now. The range of the spell is indicated by the blue cells. Spells require action points. Like I said earlier, you'll get them back at the start of the next turn. So yeah. We already moved where we wanted to move, we now need to use a spell. I'm just gonna choose any spell that can reach. Okay, end of turn. When you finish your turn, simply click on end of the turn. Yes. So, as you can see, we have 2 MP and 2 AP, and at the end of the turn we get it back, so if we move all the way, we have 0 MP now, and when we click this, it'll refill to 6 and 3. There you go! Okay, to win the fight... Okay, obviously, I'm not gonna read that. We just need to fight the little orb, globe, celestial thing. So, let's do that. Okay, I didn't crit, which is sad. <laughs> Alright! Okay, to start a quest, talk to Ganymede to start a quest. NPCs who have quest will have an exclamation mark above their heads, like Ganymede over here. He has an exclamation mark over his head, and we have this annoying little green arrow showing that something is obviously happening. So let's just click. 
Okay, well done! Equip the items you've earned. Then head to the next map, where you'll face a more formidable enemy. Okay. Thank you so much, Ganymede. We already know how to do this, so yeah. Defeat the monster. To continue your quest, move to the next room and start to fight with the monster. And we know that we need to click on the little arrow. Alright, we now need to fight a celestial gobble. He does not look intimidating at all. <laughs> okay, defeat the monster. To continue your quest, move to the next room. Okay, we already did that though. Come on, guys. Okay, we can't we can't click out of that. Okay, so we need to fight the Celestial Global now. So just following the basics that we just learned, we're going to click on, left click on the enemy and we should go into the fight. And then placement, we choose where we want to stand. I'm going to stand here actually. And I think if I move this way, I should be able... Not yet. Okay, fair enough. I can use friendship word though. Also, the Kony gives you some AP, I think. Let, let's just confirm. Yes, he gives you two AP. So, um, when you cast your Kony, who also heals you as a healer, obviously, any Ripsa spell. Um, yeah, the Kony gives you... Okay, I will explain in a second. <laughs> Okay, so the Kony gives you 2 AP, so now we have 8 AP. So we can cast Wounding Word twice because it costs 4 AP, whereas before we could only use it once because we had 6. Easy! Okay. Finish your training! Talk to Ganymede to complete your quest. NPCs who can validate quests objectives have a question mark above their heads. Okay. A very promising start. Follow me and I'll take you to another part of the temple. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's just accept this. Alright. Also, those were the quests, by the way, and achievements. So, it's just to say that we've been to parts of Incarnum. So, we've completed Incarnum 10% and... Questing, we don't have anything right now because we need to talk to Ganymede here again to receive another quest. So, actually, let's do that. If you're going to be a hero, it's best to have divine power behind you. Before going any further, how about gaining the god's favor? The twelve respect those who know how to fight and those who are able to create. Artists and artisans are highly appreciated. Why not show off your growing talents? Climb the stairs and speak to Master at work. <laughs> I get it. He's waiting for you in the professions hall. Okay. Also, just to show you the quest. Yes. The Ring of Living Dangerously. So, we now got this quest from Ganymede to go to the next hall. And, yeah. Like I said, you can also check your achievements here to see the new areas that you'll be discovering and stuff like that. Master at work. Young soul, I salute you. I'm here to teach you the basics about professions. The greatest heroes are often great artisans too. There is no finer blade than the one forged by your own hands. There are many professions that will allow you to show off your skills. But I suppose we have to start somewhere. So why not start with crafting a ring? Okay. The gods taught the Twelvians to create magic jewelry with natural resources. Crafting a ring is easy as pie, <laughs> so you say. Simply collect the necessary materials and then use the workshop to assemble them. Okay, sounds easy enough. You need some wheat, ash, iron, nettles, and a freshly caught gudgeon. So that's a fish. Uh, you'll find everything you need in this room. Don't forget to consult your quest notebook. Yeah, I just told them about that. If you forget what ingredients you need. Yes. 
Okay, so let's just look at our quest notebook again. So you can either press Q or you can just click on the little quest book like I was saying earlier about the world map, which we can now actually click. <laughs> but yeah, so we need to harvest some weed, harvest nettle, ash, iron, and the fish. So the fish will be in the pond. The nettle is over there. And then we've got the tree and iron and wheat. Simple. A little bit more about professions. Just left click a resource to harvest it. You can press J as the default shortcut to get to the profession page. As you can see, we cut the fish. In Doofus, you work with pods to indicate bag space, so when you're collecting resources, you'll see your pods fill up. The more pods you have, the more you can carry. Okay, and then the wheat. I apologize for the little green arrow here. There seems to be a certain order you need to click the previous quest, and if you didn't, then, you know, this arrow just keeps being annoying. So I apologize. Eventually it'll go away. It annoys me too, don't worry. Okay, so let's just check our quest page again. As you can see, we now have collected everything we needed, and now all we need to do is to craft a ring. So we're going to do that right over here at the workshop. Alright, I'd like to craft this ring, the courageous ring. Yay, we created our first item, guys. The goddess approves. I like you. Okay, so we are now level 2 jeweler, which is pretty cool. And over here you can just read this yourself whenever. And as I was saying earlier about the pods, so just keep all of that in mind. Alright. Good work! Show the ring to Ganymede. He's waiting for you outside this room. I remember. Thank you so much at work. He looks excited. Hello! You're very talented! The ring you've made is perfect! Aw, thanks! Now you're equipped it from head to toe. To test your effectiveness, a training session is a must. I agree. I've notified Master Tarms. He's been waiting for you in the combat room. Climb the stairs and show the gods what you can do. Alright, no problem. Hello, Master Tarms. You're Mochiko, aren't you? I've been expecting you. Know that the gods are watching us. Are you brave enough to fight the horrible spirit tabbies? Yes, I am. They're super cute, by the way. During your future adventures, you... I'm sorry, the sounds are so cute. During your future adventures, you will often have to face several enemies at once. To complete your training, fight a... Tiger mouse and an acro cat. Um, don't get taken in by their cute look. Ah, it's too late. As their spirit fires will burn you. Okay, well, it's too late. They're already, like, super adorbs. You can also zoom in, guys. Just wanted to show you. We can zoom in all the way if we want. Oh, okay. Well, the game doesn't like that. Alright, let's just fight them. Let's stop uh, messing around. Okay, so what I didn't mention in the previous fights, I want you guys to keep an eye on this little bar here at the bottom. It's running out quite quickly as I'm talking to you guys. It's called the Time Gauge, and um, when it runs out, you... 
You have to be careful so it doesn't run out, so. Because then it'll skip your turn. What are these guys weak to? You can scroll over your enemies to check for weaknesses or, you know, what their stats are and things like that. How much HP they have left over. So remember to do that. Also, these guys aren't weak to anything specific, so I'm just going to use whatever. Cutting it closer. <laughs> Aha! So this guy is the healer. So as in any game, you'll want to kill the healer first. So I knew that, but yeah, you guys need to figure that out with every fight that you guys do. Which one's the healer and stuff like that. Stop harassing my Coney! Shime. Why are you running away? Because you know you're gonna die. Hey. Oh! That's new. Interesting. Keep in mind guys that you will always be penalized if you are next to your enemy and you'll want to move. So if I move right now, I'm going to lose half of my AP and half, well, two MP, not half of it. So I'm going to do that <laughs> just to show you guys. And I do want to recast a Kony because I actually want to go test out what that is for the video's sake. <laughs> because it's the first time I actually saw that. Oh no, it disappeared. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay, well... Alright. Eventually this error will go away. You've made it through the last fight. Go and announce your victory to Ganymede. He'll be glad to congratulate you. Shami has to do that with every soul that passes through here. <laughs> that must be annoying. Hello, Ganymede. I understand you handled yourself very well. Well done! I never doubted you, of course. Before you leave the temple to explore Incarnum, we must talk about the quest for the Doofus. Come with me downstairs. I will take you to the Destiny Room. Ooh. Destiny Room. <gasps> it's my goddess! Hello, Ganymede. Those who want to fulfill their destiny must know who they really are. You must ask yourself three questions. Who are you? What do you want, and where will you go? You will find the answers in this room. Will I? Will I really? <laughs> okay, let's go to the My Goddess first. Let's see. The Goddess Aniripsa. Disciple, bow before the statue of Aniripsa. The Goddess knows who you are. She knows your name, and will always care for you. The Goddess knows what is hidden in your heart. The Goddess knows that you're not just an adventurer like the others. You're a hero. You've got a destiny to accomplish. Your legend begins now. Write your story in the history of the cosmos. The world of twelve is waiting for you. Thanks, goddess. Okay, this is a map of the whole doofus. Just, it's the cutest map, by the way. I really love this map. Okay, and I assume this is the information about the main quest? The Six Primordial Doofus. Ganymede! Your training is complete. It's time for you to leave. When you exit the temple, you'll be in the land of Incarnum. Explore its every nook and cranny. Talk to the inhabitants. Your first adventure awaits. When the time is right, you'll go through a magical portal into the World of Twelve. Okay. Before you go, I have one final gift. Aw, thanks! 
Take this magic bunch of keys. It will open dungeon doors for you. These dark places are home to incredible creatures. And maybe the doofus, who can say? Oh, I love the bunch of keys. It actually allows you to go to each dungeon once a day. So that's pretty cool. It resets every day. If it still works like it used to. <laughs> Good luck. May the gods watch over you and your destiny be fulfilled. Oh, thanks, Ganymede. Alright guys, so that was the first part of the tutorial. I am going to continue this adventure in our next episode. I hope that you guys enjoy it and that the tutorial was fairly informative. Uh, please leave some comments down below and let me know what you thought. And feel free to ask any questions. And if I missed anything, I do apologize. Thank you for watching and for all your support. I appreciate you so much. Until the next video, bye guys!